The Mariner program was a 10-mission program conducted by the American Space Agency NASA in conjunction with Jet Propulsion Laboratory The program launched a series of robotic interplanetary probes, from 1962 to 1973, designed to investigate Mars, Venus and Mercury. The program included a number of firsts, including the first planetary flyby, the first planetary orbiter, and the first gravity assist maneuver. Of the ten vehicles in the Mariner series, seven were successful, forming the starting point for many subsequent NASA, JPL space probe programs. The planned Mariner Jupiter Saturn vehicles were adapted into the Voyager program, while the Viking program orbiters were enlarged versions of the Mariner 9 spacecraft. Later Mariner based spacecraft include the Magellan probe and the Galileo probe, while the second generation Mariner Mark II series evolved into the Cassini Huygens probe. The total cost of the Mariner program was approximately $554 million. The name of the Mariner program was decided in May 1960 at the suggestion of Edgar M. Courtright to have the planetary mission probes patterned after nautical terms to convey the impression of travel to great distances and remote lands. That decision was the basis for naming Mariner, Ranger, Surveyor, and Viking probes. <laughs> Basic layout All Mariner spacecraft were based on a hexagonal or octagonal bus which housed all of the electronics, and to which all components were attached, such as antennae, cameras, propulsion, and power sources. Mariner 2 was based on the Ranger lunar probe. All of the Mariners launched after Mariner 2 had four solar panels for power, except for Mariner 10, which had two. Additionally, all except Mariner 1, Mariner 2 and Mariner 5 had TV cameras. The first five Mariners were launched on Atlas Agena rockets, while the last five used the Atlas Centaur. All Mariner-based probes after Mariner 10 used the Titan IIIE, Titan IV unmanned rockets or the Space Shuttle with a solid-fueled inertial upper stage and multiple planetary flybys. Mariners Mariner 1 Mariner 2 Mariner 3 Mariner 4 Mariner 5 Mariner 6 Mariner 7 Mariner 8 Mariner 9 Mariner 10 Topic Mariners 1 and 2 Mariner 1 P37 and Mariner 2 P38 were two deep space probes making up NASA's Mariner R project The primary goal of the project was to develop and launch two spacecraft sequentially to the near vicinity of Venus receive communications from the spacecraft and to perform radiometric temperature measurements of the planet a secondary objective was to make interplanetary magnetic field and or particle measurements on the way to and in the vicinity of Venus Mariner 1 designated Mariner R1 was launched on July 22, 1962 but was destroyed approximately 5 minutes after liftoff by the Air Force Range Safety Officer when its malfunctioning Atlas Agena rocket went off course. Mariner 2 designated Mariner R2 was launched on August 27, 1962, sending it on a three-and-a-half-month flight to Venus. The mission was a success, and Mariner 2 became the first spacecraft to have flown by another planet. Mission, Venus flyby Weight, 203 kg 446 pounds. Sensors, microwave and infrared radiometers, cosmic dust, solar plasma and high-energy radiation, magnetic field status, Mariner 1 destroyed shortly after liftoff. Mariner 2 defunct after successful mission, occupies a heliocentric orbit. <laughs> Mariners 3 and 4 Sister ships Mariner 3 and Mariner 4 were Mars flyby missions. Mariner 3 was lost when the launch vehicle's nose fairing failed to jettison. Mariner 4, launched on November 28, 1964, was the first successful flyby of the planet Mars and gave the first glimpse of Mars at close range. Mission, Mars flyby Mass, 261 kg 575 pounds. Sensors, camera with digital tape recorder about 20 pictures, cosmic dust, solar plasma, trapped radiation, cosmic rays, magnetic fields, radio occultation and celestial mechanics status 
Mariner 3 malfunction. Derelict in heliocentric orbit. Mariner 4 communications lost after bombardment by micrometeoroids. Derelict in heliocentric orbit. Mariner 5 The Mariner 5 spacecraft was launched to Venus on June 14, 1967 and arrived in the vicinity of the planet in October 1967. It carried a complement of experiments to probe Venus's atmosphere with radio waves, scan its brightness in ultraviolet light, and sample the solar particles and magnetic field fluctuations above the planet. Mission, Venus flyby Mass, 245 kg 540 pounds. Sensors, ultraviolet photometer, cosmic dust, solar plasma, trapped radiation, cosmic rays, magnetic fields, radio occultation and celestial mechanics status Mariner 5 defunct. Now in heliocentric orbit. <laughs> Mariners 6 and 7 Mariners 6 and 7 were identical teammates in a two-spacecraft mission to Mars. Mariner 6 was launched on February 24, 1969, followed by Mariner 7 on March 21, 1969. They flew over the equator and southern hemisphere of the planet Mars. Mission: Mars flybys. Mass: 413 kilograms, 908 pounds. Sensors: wide and narrow angle cameras with digital tape recorder, infrared spectrometer and radiometer, ultraviolet spectrometer, radio occultation and celestial mechanics status. Mariner 6 defunct. Now in a heliocentric orbit. Mariner 7 defunct. Now in a heliocentric orbit. Mariners 8 and 9 Mariner 8 and Mariner 9 were identical sister craft designed to map the Martian surface simultaneously, but Mariner 8 was lost in a launch vehicle failure. Its identical sister craft, Mariner 9, was launched in May 1971 and became the first artificial satellite of Mars. It entered Martian orbit in November 1971 and began photographing the surface and analyzing the atmosphere with its infrared and ultraviolet instruments. Mission: Orbit Mars. Mass: 998 kilograms, 2200 pounds. Sensors: wide and narrow angle cameras with digital tape recorder, infrared spectrometer and radiometer, ultraviolet spectrometer, radio occultation and celestial mechanics status. Mariner 8 destroyed in a launch vehicle failure. Mariner 9 shut off. In areocentric Mars orbit until at least 2022 when it is projected to fall out of orbit and into the Martian atmosphere. <laughs> Mariner 10 The Mariner 10 spacecraft launched on November 3, 1973 and was the first to use a gravity assist trajectory, accelerating as it entered the gravitational influence of Venus, then being flung by the planet's gravity onto a slightly different course to reach Mercury. It was also the first spacecraft to encounter two planets at close range, and for 33 years the only spacecraft to photograph Mercury in close-up. Mission, plasma, charged particles, magnetic fields, radio occultation and celestial mechanics status, Mariner 10 defunct. Now in a heliocentric orbit. <laughs> Mariner Jupiter-Saturn Mariner Jupiter Saturn was approved in 1972 after the cancellation of the Grand Tour program, which proposed visiting all the outer planets with multiple spacecraft. The Mariner Jupiter Saturn program proposed two Mariner derived probes that would perform a scaled back mission involving flybys of only the two gas giants, though designers at JPL built the craft with the intention that further encounters past Saturn would be an option. Trajectories were chosen to allow one probe to visit Jupiter and Saturn first, and perform a flyby of Saturn's moon Titan to gather information about the Moon's substantial atmosphere. The other probe would arrive at Jupiter and Saturn later, and its trajectory would enable it to continue on to Uranus and Neptune assuming the first probe accomplished all its objectives, or be redirected to perform a Titan flyby if necessary. The program's name was changed to Voyager just before launch in 1977, and after Voyager 1 successfully completed its Titan encounter, Voyager 2 went on to visit the two ice giants. 
See also Mariner Mark II Mariner Crater Pioneer Program Tom Crimigus References, <references>